they immediately grab him. They're like, oh, come in. And you know, you're not supposed to go into people's houses. And he just sees a bunch of teenage girls ready to record. I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable. Before we get started, we're gonna hear from our sponsor of this episode, Shopify. What's something that works so well? It's basically magic. Air conditioning, noise canceling headphones. Oh, don't even get me started on the magic of airplanes. What about selling on Shopify? Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash Rebecca, all lowercase letters. Go to shopify.com slash Rebecca to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash Rebecca. Now let's get started with this week's episode. Hey everybody, we have Kurt Tossi here in the studio today. Kurt, would you like to say hi to everyone? Introduce yourself a little bit. Yes, hello, hi, welcome um, to the podcast. Would, would you, you believe? believe? <laughs> <laughs> would you believe I'm here? I I don't. I can't. I can't believe I'm here. Because uh, we're just such good friends. Right. We go way back. So way. Way back. <laughs> so uh, tell everyone a little bit about you. Like, who are you for people who might not know? Sure. Even though you are more popular than me, but it's okay. No, stop. Even there are people who even... There are people who don't even know who Mr. Beast is. So, That's like, so true. It's weird when you're like, oh, no, you've never you've never what? seen a Mr. Beast oh. video. They go, who? I'm like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. It's uncultured people. So uh, I am a content creator, um, uh, cat dad, uh, Disney enthusiast, Marvel fanatic. You can see why we're friends, everyone. It's uh, it's uh, you know, I'm a jack of all trades, a master of many. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I wear many hats. And you're doing really well. Like, you're going to lots of movie premieres and screenings. Like, what's the end yeah, goal I for mean, you? <laughs> good question. I, <laughs> I feel I'll that let you know. so hard. <laughs> I'll let you know. Uh, I don't, there is no end goal. This is kind of the end goal, I guess you could say. Uh, living by, the dream. By having an end goal, I feel like there's the it limits. potential for, yeah, yeah, limits. I feel that. I don't, um, I just, I just, Continue to do what I love to do. And if I'm that. able to do that every single day and it escalates from then, great. But if here I'm like this the rest of my life, I love I'm that. chilling. So I'm just happy to be here. And yeah. you're living you're living your best life. You're like you truly are right I'm, now. I'm trying. It's been <laughs> a it's been a big full circle for sure. There's there obviously is like a big road to get both of us to where we are today. And yes. one of the big stops and on one of the big uh can't even think the word the way that I phrased it earlier when I was telling you that I was going to say this. But one of the ways that you got to where you are today mm -hmm. was you were a pizza delivery guy. Ah, uh, yes, one of the many stepping stones. The stepping. That's what I was like. Sure. Why did I use ADHD, man? In ADHD my case, brain. in my case, a step stool or a step ladder <laughs> for us short people. Um, many uh, another another notch on the belt, if you will, if you will, <laughs> on the old. On the old belt. So how old were you when you decided, like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to deliver pizzas. Okay. That's a, that's a good side job. Yeah. So I've always been a chatterbox. I like to talk. Really? Yeah, since elementary school. Can you tell? <laughs> Did uh, you also get on your report card, talks too much? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the silence on the way to teacher conferences was loud between oh, my car no. Like, my parents... And I swear to God, every teacher, without fail, and love them to death, but every teacher conference started off and they're like, well, he's a chatterbox. <laughs> and then my, my, my dad would just be like, yo, <laughs> like, like, so obviously talking in school wasn't the best, but hey, it, who's it, laughing it's, now? It's friendliness. Yeah, you, <laughs> right, we found a right. way to make this into a career. Yeah, well, I mean, I've always been social in general. And right. so- my mind goes to okay if i'm going to get a job where how can i be myself socially or what can i use my personality to help me make money or whatever yeah so uh you know service industry right and before i could serve tables cuz legally uh you had to be 18 to serve right. alcohol yeah so before i could get a job as a actual waiter um i worked pizza delivery and that was like it was like, I was 18, so I was old enough to serve tables, but I hadn't got a serving job yet. Right. So I served, or um, so I delivered pizzas from like, I think 19 to about 20, yeah, like nine, 
beginning of 19 years old to like end of 20 years old. So almost a two full years. Wow. Uh, of delivering pizzas and working at this mom and pop pizza shop. That's a long time Wasn't even for a, corporate a teenager. One. That's. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. But it was like also I had all the time in the world because I also wasn't going to college. So I was like, what do I do? And so had my car and I was like, I'll deliver pizzas. And and that was uh, that was the beginning of my service industry run. Uh, I had worked in like like uh, retail and stuff right, like that right. before, but like actual full fledged service or like you know delivery wise um, before Postmates was a thing, right, right. Uber Eats was a thing. It was like pizza delivery, so that so, was. And- it, it, it feels so, like, for some jobs, it feels so obvious, but I always usually like to try and touch on, like, the accessibility of every job. So, like, yeah. for pizza delivery, you need your do you need your own car? Like, do they have, like, vehicles I needed, that you can use? I needed my own car because this okay. was a mom and pop okay. place, but I've actually seen, like, Domino's has, like, the Domino's mobile. Oh. Like, at some, there's some, there's some pizza shops when I've. I don't know. I think so. It might so. be a newer thing. Yeah. It might be Defer- for some places. Not everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, like a lot you of places, you need your own car. Okay. Yes. Okay. For, for the most part, if you're trying to deliver pizzas, it wouldn't make sense to apply for a pizza job with no car or for a delivery yeah. driver with no car. Yeah. So how how exactly does that work? Like they pay for your, like how do they pay for your gas? How do they pay you? What kind sure. of tips do you get to keep for yourself? Like yeah. how does all of that work? Again, this is totally right. if you have, contingent the, right. on if it's a corporate vehicle. We'll take that out of context. Right. So just for someone who has, has their, their own, own car, car right. they don't pay for gas. Really? There's no gas rewards at all. I get paid hourly to be working for them. Whether there's a pizza delivery or not, I'm getting paid hourly. So some days I'll just hang around the shop and do absolutely nothing, do two deliveries, and then I can actually be like, can I just go? And they'll be like, yeah, I go home, and I leave, right? Right. Very chill, um, and they were awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, hourly and then tips, uh, all, all tips, uh, would come to me as the driver that I would deliver, you know? So I know like as a server, because most of our, most of what we got to take home was based on tips. Cause I sure. also worked in the service industry for like five or six years. Yeah. Um, same. so do like, is the hourly the same kind of rate as like a server rate because you're relying on tips or no? So this is a huge issue with America. Right. Depending on the state you live in, your wages, if you're in the service industry, are lower. Right. This is not, I mean, California is different. Like right now, California minimum wage will be $20 for wow. people working at restaurants. Wow. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. 20 plus tip, which is crazy. But rightfully you so. You cons- blew my mind. Oh, yeah. But oh, like, my gosh. Oh, yeah. But in Colorado or like any Midwest state, I, I can't name all of I the was states. In North but Carolina. North yeah, Carolina. Yeah. All right. Your service wage is like 325 An hour. An hour, maybe. And that gets erased because when you claim your tips, it takes it out of your check. Right. So if your check is $200 for the two weeks that you worked or whatever, your tips are going to tax that check and your check's going to be $10 or whatever. So they literally live off their tips. Wow. But then there's other states that you get minimum wage, which doesn't excuse the fact that they should not still be getting tips because it's a premium service. So whatever they make hourly is irrelevant. That's like right. saying doctors make $100,000 a year. I shouldn't have to pay for surgery, which we shouldn't. Medical. This is a whole new argument. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but you get what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, 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 Just yeah, because we yeah. know how much someone makes doesn't eliminate the the tipping element, right? Right. Like or the the you're, you're paying for a premium service. Right. Hands down. You don't want to pay for something like go to the grocery store and right. make your own food. It's, it's not right delivery. There. It's DiGiorno. It's Dijur- <laughs> DiGiorno. <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Shout out DiGiorno. Not sponsored. It's uh, not. Not by them. At but, least. <laughs> But this is this is the the age old argument is people don't like tipping. But regardless, yes, minimum wage is different in every state, uh, and that bleeds into the service industry. So pizza delivery. It's funny. I've never like thought I, of pizza delivery as service industry before. Yeah, I mean, but it, like it is. It is. It, you can you can absolutely pick up your pizza. You can order it. Hey, I'd yeah. like to place an order for pickup, and you want to drive to the pizza shop and pick it up? Sure. Yeah, whatever. absolutely. But if you got a big old party happening and you need fifteen pizzas delivered, you don't want to go pick those up. No. You want to. You want to be able. To, yeah. Right. Yeah, so for sure, you paying for the the convenience. That's that's it. That's you, what it is. Yeah, and some places do a delivery fee. Right. Like my pizza shop did not have a delivery fee. It uh-huh. was just price of pizza. 
hopefully you tip. That's it. Interesting. But there are some places that are like delivery fee. You know, five mile delivery fee, three dollars, right? right? And then it's like then you decide to tip them. And some people will be like, I paid the delivery fee, but sometimes that delivery fee might go somewhere else, whether yeah. it's to the gas, even just to get to your place, or you know. I don't know. Well, I, I've so. heard and I've, I've gotten some responses from other pizza delivery places that mm-hmm. like, and this isn't for all, like it's not like I have representation from every right. single right. pizza place that exists, right. but most people have claimed that like the delivery fee doesn't even go to the driver. It still just goes back to the company, which I doesn't really make sense. I can neither confirm or deny because I did not experience that no, myself. No, right, right, right. But it's very likely, but that's also like the... Uh, Uber drivers get the the bonus. They yeah. get they get the bonus uh, when it's like lightning bonus or whatever. Like my friends drive for Lyft and Uber, and like when there is a premium, they get the bonus plus the the cost of the ride. Oh, plus if they do tip them. So there are multiple ways to make money. That's why my friend will go do like quests. Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. No sneezing allowed. I I've never sneezed on a podcast episode <laughs> before. That's like the first time hey, ever. Hey, all right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my, uh, my friend drives for Uber and Lyft and, uh, he does these quests. So which Uber pays like, Hey, you do X amount of rides, you get X amount of dollars. Uh-huh. So even if these people don't tip him at all for any of those rides, he's going to get that much money for doing those rides for providing the service. Cause Interesting. yeah. So anyway, back to pizza delivering no, in a nutshell, good. I make, I would make hourly and then tip whether it's cash or whether it's card, if there's multiple drivers on, we didn't split anything because whoever would get the delivery, we would alternate. You get that one, I get this one. You get that one, I get this one. And like, that's it. But Interesting. if I was the only delivery driver on for the day, then And did you mine. only do delivery driving? Did you ever make pizzas? I did. Uh, yeah? I did. It was only because it was a mom and pop shop. I don't, again, know how We don't know. Right, corporate. right, right. Uh, but yeah, they let me mess around and make some pizzas and I, th- I threw dough and, um, so it was really fun to like deliver it and be like, yeah, I made this. And they go, really? I'm like, yeah, I made your pizza. I hope you enjoy it. And they go, oh my God, cool. And I'm like, yeah, me too. It's, <laughs> I made this whole thing. Like I really want you to love it. I, I did the whole thing. Like, I, How I did hard it. is it to do the dough like that? Like the, the spinny? It's not that hard. Really? Uh, yeah, you get, you know, once you work it and then you, you start to throw it and you get a. You start with obviously the smaller ones, right? And then, but like this pizza shop had a uh, eighteen inch Ooh. pizza, like it was big. And when the dough stretched, you were like, "Um, the place that I worked big. at, we had a twenty four. Wow, yeah. So you get mm-hmm. it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big old pizza. Maybe this one was twenty. Actually, it might have been twenty. It was like twelve, sixteen, twenty, maybe. Yeah, wow. I think it was like a twenty inch pizza. This thing was big, but yeah, the box was massive, and so. Uh, yeah, I got to throw pizzas when it was slow, uh, or if it was like, oh, I got a delivery, I'll make this one. Like, if it wasn't busy, then I they would let me. So how how does it usually work? Is it just like, oh, any kind of, like, would they give you a list of like, oh, here's the group of addresses that you have to go to, or is it just like one after the other? No, so delivery comes in, um, you put it in the GPS, and then- It's it, just the one. It's like one and done, and you return. Yep. Yep. And was sometimes if I could do multiples on one run without the pizzas getting cold, right. obviously we have the bag, but like sometimes I could do two in one run. Like, oh, I've got a single pizza that's only a mile away from this destination because everything was in like a five mile radius. Oh, that's nice. Pizza deliveries nice. don't generally deliver past a five mile radius for that reason of cold pizza. Like it, it'll get cold. Like Yeah, that so makes sense. That's why you see multiple Domino's or multiple Pizza Hut's or whatever. Like They're all close together. Well, there's there's many of them, so they cover the different radiuses yeah. of, of delivery. Um, so yeah, I would just be like, drive out, come back. Oh, got another one. Drive out, come back, drive out, come back, etc. It's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Pr- it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And so that's why I really want to focus on like the way that we just kind of like treat people especially in those roles and in those sure. professions yeah um because it sucks and again i always preface this in like every single episode is mm-hmm. that like just like teaching i'm sure that when it comes to pizza delivery 90 percent of your interactions with people are very neutral it's very right? minimal obviously right. it's like hey here you go thanks right. have a great day exactly <laughs> like, but like there's those five percent of wow that person like really made my day and then there's yeah. the other five that's like wow this person just ruined my week Sure. Yikes. It's a it's a catch twenty two. I think 
I have a, I have very thick skin, uh, and so even if someone is in a mood or in a day or whatever, and they're they're completely rude to deliver to or whatever, they're complaining about you know oh it took this long or what. It's not me. I I'm just the messenger. I'm just you know I'm what just I mean? here. My, I just work like, here. I'm like, do you want your pizza or <laughs> not? Do you want to just complain like, about it? Complaining to me isn't going to change the status of your pizza. So like you can uh, like I'm sorry it took this long, but I'm not over there like. Let's take our time. See, like, but there's also like no winning. You'll never believe this complaint that someone sent me. Okay. Um, so this person delivered a pizza. It was really quick. Like it was a very slow day. So like literally the pizza. It was the first. They had no nothing else in the queue. Made the pizza really quick. Mm -hmm. It was down the street delivery. Delivered it immediately. Mm -hmm. Came back. By the time they came back to the store, the customer had already called the manager screaming. Oh boy. How dare you! You delivered this so fast that the pizza was so hot it burned my mouth. Oh God! Why? Why could you not just set the pizza aside and let it cool off for a few minutes? Okay, this is a danger to my health. This is America. And I will sue you because this burned my tongue. That's someone who heard about the lady who made like three million dollars from off McDonald's. The yes. <laughs> and they're like, I could get this money. This pizza was too hot. And we're like. <laughs> I, if I was the manager, I would have been like, I would have laughed and hung up the phone. The manager literally goes, can you complain about this on Yelp? Because that's great advertisement. It's way too hot. We delivered so fast, it was too hot. Please complain about this on Yelp. <laughs> Yikes. That would be so great. This is the double standard. This is... It always is. There's always is, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like when it comes to... We, we were talking about this before. How, like, on one side, when it comes to people in service industry, sometimes people just really look down on them but there's also just a problem with the way that people treat people in today's world oh yeah oh absolutely uh and this reflects on any any human on any human on any you know occupation and people just want to take things out on other people and like i said i it's not worth it it's just not worth it to no. me to ever like exude that energy i could be at a restaurant with arguably some of the worst service Coming from a waiter, mm -hmm. we're definitely looking at every like like oh wow they they haven't even checked back on us like like I food haven't is had literally water cooked. in thirty minutes yeah <laughs> or you know we, we notice these things but like again it's like all right maybe they're weeded right maybe they're you know Stressing maybe they're out. super stressed maybe they're uh, who the knows? only one on right now who knows but I'm like it's fine let's just we're it's it's not gonna. Right. It's, it's not, not a huge it. deal. No. This is a first no. world problem. Like, and, Such a first world problem. But even then, even if everything is just actually terrible and it is their fault, I'm still going to tip them 20% because I know it goes much further than them. Yeah. It goes much further than the immediate server or, or tip in general. Like it's just, it's hard. It's, you don't know it's, what people have going on. It's hard because people are going to comment and say, I don't tip. Companies should pay more. Okay. Yeah. We we all want obviously. companies to pay their employees. Obviously. That's never been a debate. Like, there's never been a question. Obviously, companies should pay more. We get it. But that's not what you're paying for. You're paying for the, the service that you didn't have to cook your own food. You didn't have to go shopping. You didn't have to do anything but sit down and point at something and say, bring me that. Well, and it's also like, yes, companies should pay their employees more, but right now they don't. So like, no. oh, so you can just go hungry because I think your boss should do differently. What? Yeah, no, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a fine line of you know, people. The age old argument is if you can't afford to go out to eat, don't go out to eat, and there are many other options. Uh, and people will argue that you know, I don't want to tip because I don't have to. Uh, tipping should be op tip sh tipping is optional, it is optional, but it's just a more it's like mo a moral thing. It's unfortunate that you feel that someone should take care of you and whoever else you're with for. About an hour, if not more, of everything you need, and you still leave them with nothing extra but the hourly they made to take care of you. But here's where I will agree with you about tipping is if I'm at a cafe and I order a coffee and they yeah. flip that screen around at me, I'm like, what am I tipping for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for five minutes. I'm not sitting at a table. You're not doing any extra. You're doing the job yeah. that is just make the coffee. Yes. And you're gonna ask me if I want to give you three extra dollars? Like yes, I, I feel like like in don't hate me, but like when it comes it's to the like, only place I don't understand no, tipping is, I, is I at the places that completely. they shouldn't be. 
I understand that completely. Like, I feel like in some aspects it's definitely gone overboard. Yeah. But, like, because of those few instances where it is overboard, people use that as justification of, oh, so I just don't tip, period. Yeah. But, like, you also just don't know what people are going through. And I want to, like, emphasize, like, no. this is not when, – when we talk about some of these crazy stories, like, these are not often. Like, they're not common. But, like – they do happen, and the point mm-hmm. is just that you just don't know. You never know what someone is going through. Right. So, like, someone sent me a story about how they were delivering to a regular, mm-hmm. and usually when they deliver this pizza to their regular, the regular is sitting on their porch waiting for them. And this is, like, a, a very, like, common customer. Sure. And they delivered, and they noticed that the regular wasn't sitting on the porch, and they're like, oh, this is okay. And like, it just like, it felt off. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when something just feels off. Yeah. And they noticed that the front door was wide open. Oh boy. And so then they, oh no. And so they just kind of poked their head in, tried knocking on the door and like, Hey, I'm here. You good? Like, I just saw the door open. Like, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Well, saw into the house that this person had collapsed. And immediately, oh my gosh, immediately went to them, grabbed the phone, called 911. Mm-hmm. Like, thank God they were there. Right. Um, ambulance came and everything. And once paramedics and everyone was there and they talked to them and, like, tried to do what they could, they called their boss. And they're like, hey, um, we're a little delayed over here. This is what happened. Like, yeah. I, I stayed because I figured that paramedics would want to talk to me. I felt like that was the responsible thing to do. And the first thing their boss said was, okay, well, what are the, did you not deliver the other pizzas? Do you have any orders that you have to make? Like, oh, didn't check in, didn't, oh, wow, that's terrible. Like, first thought was, well, our customer's going to get mad that you're now delayed. Like, are their pizzas now cold? Are we going right. to have to remake them? Wow. And it's like the the two parts of like first of all that's a crappy manager like yeah, your how most pizza delivery people are mo- probably like teenagers this is a teenager right that yeah. just stumbled into that situation that's yeah. traumatic but also like it's not like that person is it's not like the pizza shop is then going to go to the other customers and be like sorry for the delay we just saw someone possibly die yeah. in front of us like and how mad are they going to be that everything's late? How mad are they going to be that everything's delivered? Are they now not going to get tipped out the rest of the day because now their pizza's cold? Are their pizza's taking longer? And again, yeah. do those things happen all the time? No. But the point is you just don't ever know yeah. when something is going on. Like the number of pizza delivery people who sent me like really tragic stories, mm-hmm. I never – like again, it's not common. Yeah. But it's more common than you think. You don't think about it, though, because it does until it happens to you. Exactly. Yeah. Like someone else sent me one about how their delivery took way longer than they thought it was going to take because they they rang the doorbell mm-hmm. and they heard screaming on the inside of the house and it made them really uncomfortable. And all of a sudden, like this very angry man opened the door they saw a kid like in the back hallway just kind of poke their head through. Mm-hmm. And when the dad looked back, screamed like, get back. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. And they just got a really bad feeling. Mm-hmm. Saw this woman come to collect the child and she was covered in bruises. Oh, geez. And this guy was like, no, something's going on here. Like right. delivered the pizza, got the tip, whatever. The went unsung to the car hero. And immediately called authorities and was like, you know, this could be nothing, and I hope it is nothing. Mm-hmm. But I just saw this at this house, and I just have a really bad feeling, and I just wanted to let somebody know. And it turns out they had an open investigation into this family already. Right. And again, is that like common? No, hopefully not. But like, yeah. these are just things that you never know. Like, you don't realize it's not common, but you don't get how often it does happen. Yeah. And you don't think about the fact that people who are like delivering to people's houses, they see things. I think even on the scale of the abnormal, right? The things that yeah. don't happen that much, there's a scenario that people listening might relate to uh-huh. uh, a little more regular as far as like they've ordered a pizza and it's been 40 minutes and they're like, where's my pizza? Mm-hmm. Right. Where mm-hmm. is it? We ordered this 45 What's minutes ago. Yeah. You, you look up on on your phone on and you're like tracker. And you look up on your phone and you're like, the pizza place is only a mile away. Why is Why it, it taking so long? long? Right. So 
people have related to that, and then you just let that get you so angry that I get it. You order something, and you're like, where's my pizza? And you're hungry, and you get hangry. And you're hungry, and then you call them, and you're like, hey, I'm just checking where my pizza is. And they're like, oh, X, Y, and Z happened, or whatever the case, whatever they say happened. How you respond to that is 99% of how life is. Life is 1% of what happens and 99% of how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. And that's like everything so you can either be like oh okay like uh, i was just double checking or you can be like oh well i want my pizza free and i want the ah, la, 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 like send me magnets and coupons and like <laughs> what like let it go it's a pizza like, like why You're are you okay why are you working yourself up so much like i get it i get it we're all impatient and we all want instant gratification and that's just how life is but you are choosing to work yourself up over something so small that is just and if that's the case if you're mad i get it just be like you know i think we'll just cancel it no big deal if you can just you know refund my card or whatever you know but like how you handle it is everything because right. that and other person choice. yeah the other person on the other line is dealing with whatever and you don't know and and that's just everything but as far as delivery people in general it goes both ways it's not the the delivery people are always the ones. Oh, who for are sure. Off the, there's off always the... bad apples in every profession. Yeah, that there's the ones that'll ruin it for everyone. Yes. for sure. And there's no there. But have like, you ever experienced anyone like that? Like a bad delivery? Yeah, like a uh, bad delivery guy, like someone that you're just like nothing. Nothing like that crazy stands out. I've heard like crazy stories. Obviously, I've seen videos of people yeah. who are like, "Where's the, my DoorDash driver? Ate my food or some something like oh, that." Oh like, yeah, like there's the that. worst. But even if that happened to me, I'm not going to let that bleed into every DoorDash experience I have. Right. From then on, it, right. It'd be annoying, and I'd be like, "Well, that's annoying." But like, there's a calm and civil way to handle it. Exactly. Without flipping your lid. I mean, this is everyone's first thing. Is like. Oh, you're no, fired. No, no, I'm going to no, get no, you no, no, fired. No, no. Look, at, look at this video that I'm going to post everywhere and tell everyone how angry I am and how terrible you are. It's like, get, like, relax. The like, funniest relax. thing. Relax. Like, yes. The funniest thing is that, like, the people who really get so worked up, like, I've been waiting for 30 minutes for my pizza, blah, 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 yeah. blah. And it's like, you're treating it like it's the end of the world. But after, like, the next hour, you're never even going to think think about it again yeah it's not like it doesn't change your life it does like you're fine i won't work myself up i refuse to let anything get to me period someone could rear end me while i was driving Uh huh. happens can i say that i'll beep it out it's fine i beep it out i beep out things all the time you're okay things happen (laughs) no you're okay (laughs) so it's like you know like life happens it does you are not perfect either and there have been moments where I feel like I've seen things online and people put people on blast. They do. Nowadays. It's like sport. People do it for sport. They'll film people. They'll, oh, you did this. Oh, this person just did this. Oh, look at what I, oh, woe is me, right? With whatever you're going through. And some things are very valid. Do you? Does it need to be broadcasted to the world? That's hearsay. Yeah. But we choose to do this, Why? Why to go to that length for, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, no, yes. It's, it's that, it's like things happen, okay? And like I said, how you respond to it or how you treat people around you changes everything. everything. It changes absolutely, it's the difference. And I'm going to get dark here. Okay, like, I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't mean to get so dark, but like the amount of, of things that can be avoided by treating even the strangest of people or even the weirdest of people, if you think they're off or whatever, if they're confrontational, right? Like let's say there's an irate person in the line in front of you and they're ah, they're just angry or whatever and they turn to you and you can either like tell them to stop, right? Or like if some crazy person's in an elevator, you know, next to me and they're Oh, this, this, this. I'd be like, but yeah, no, totally. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, right? Yeah. You're, yeah. Like, you got it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, no, no, no. Like, agitated Because I'm further. not trying to get or in an elevator oh because I disagree with some psycho person. Like, just you don't know what people are going through. Exactly. And at least, I'm not saying like agree with them actually, but don't challenge. Why are we challenging people? people and everything is my opinion is my no, personal opinion yeah. I, so again with the let's say i get rear-ended right and they mess up my car what am i gonna do 
What, is, what am I going to do? What's like, yelling at them going to do? What am I going to do? It's, it's, I think it's I'm going to yell natural. it back into into form. <laughs> like I, I, I think when it do. comes to, like, if someone rends you, if your pizza's 40 minutes late, like, I think it's natural to feel frustrated. Sure. But, well, like, it's how a very you... Inc- big inf- yeah, inconvenience. Like, your, your feelings are valid. Like, you can be irritated. You can sure. be a little hangry. But, like, how you choose to act is 100% a choice. Yeah. And, like... Trying going out of your way to make sure the person also involved feels as bad as you. Like you're frustrated, you're angry, you're right. miserable. You d- like that mentality of well, I want them to feel just as bad as I do. Right. Why? Like, like it's, what's the point of that? It's like those who are you know, literally make a living on TikTok, filming people trying to get them fired from their job for I X, hate Y, and Z. That for X, Y, and Z, whatever. Like. Y- <sighs> Why? It's gross. Like, it's gross. You, you're driving home and you're like, <laughs> I did. They're that. fired. No, like, my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> well, it's not even just the people who like do everything in anger. It's also just like the sheer disrespect and looking at other people as almost like subhuman. Like someone sent yeah. me a story about how they were delivering pizzas. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy was delivering pizzas during Christmas time, mm-hmm. during the holidays. And they had, like, a huge stack of pizzas going to this one house. And the special instructions just said, sing a carol for a tip. And he was like, well, I'm not going to okay. sing. But, right. like, I don't – it'll be it'll be what it is. Like, I'll see when I get there. Uh-huh. So he gets to the house. And they immediately grab him. They're like, oh, come in. And, you know, you're not supposed to go into people's houses. Like, that's dangerous. Sure. Like, I just feel like that's a good rule in general. Don't go into other people's houses. Yeah. You don't want to get I think kidnapped. It depends on the vibe like, and who you are, but yes. Yeah. The majority. Safety first. Yeah. Feel out the situation, but like, yeah, yes. I so agree. he walks into the house and he just sees a bunch of like teenage girls with their phones out. Okay. Ready to record. Uh-huh. And they're like, Did you did you see the special instructions? And he's like, Oh, I, I don't I don't really sing like I don't really, uh-huh. you know, and uh-huh. they're like, well, you have to. And he's like, I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable. Like, uh-huh. they're trying to record me. I'm just a person, uh-huh. man. Like, I don't want to be humiliated on the internet for a tip. Like, it's not sure. worth that. Right. And they just started berating him about, oh, you're so you're so lame. You're so not fun. Like, mm-hmm. we're having a holiday party and you're ruining it. And he's like, why? Because I don't want you to treat me like a monkey. Like... Oof. I, I'm just going to take your pizza. If you don't want to tip me, that's fine. Right. But, like, I'm not doing this. And they start just waving money in his face. Yikes. Like, $20 bills. Yikes. And he's like, you can just keep it. I'm not. Like, Oof. that's just so disrespectful. It's, yeah. And it's like. They're it's, fishing again, for reaction. And for entertainment. Like, it's not just the angry people. It's just the disrespectful of you're less than me. And, like, embarrass yourself for my entertainment. Like, mm. that is. To me is so gross. Right. I hate it. I have I have a You do? I have a situation that oh, it, it is very in tune with this. Okay, okay, I'm ready. And I don't know. We'll we'll see. But okay, especially I'm because ready. of how I'm you, ready. especially because of how you felt about that, which I totally agree. Waving money and like Well, I think it, egging it, it, on it depends on like the gaslighting person. into yes. like do, sure. Okay. It depends on like the individual comfort level. Sure. Like every there might have been a different person who would have loved that. Totally. Well it's no, if you like, read the room. Right. And you read, you read the room. And you read the driver or the delivery person or whatever. But right. nonetheless there is the element of like you're doing it for content. And is that okay? X, Y, and Z. Okay, and there, there's okay. always going to be that argument. Sure. Yes. I okay. made a video like that. Really? And I ordered a pizza. Uh-huh. And this was in Colorado. Okay. God bless this pizza driver's soul. He drove it over and it was like negative 20 outside. Oh, bless it was so cold. Heart. It was so cold. And it was right down the road. Pizza uh-huh. shop was right down the road. This dude shows up. 21-year-old guy. Maybe 20. Like... Uh, cold as hell outside. Oh. And I had come up with this idea for a vertical video. And I opened the door. I was like, what's up, dude? Um, and I was like, hey, I have a proposition for you. If you want to make a snow angel, I'll give you 100 bucks for delivering it. If you don't, I'm going to tip you anyway. But I'm giving you an option 
to make a snow angel right now. See, I think that's so different. It's it's a it's yes. I didn't wave it in front of his face right. and say you have to to get tipped. I say if you want to make a snow angel, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Right. To keep the spontaneity of his job, make thing you know make right. a little memory, but like not. But the whole monkey thing, I kind of relate to because I'm like, dude, dance monkey, but and I, I'll do it. But see, I gave you, him an option, and he was like. Hell yeah. And then yes. he just dropped the pizza, like the he had the bag. And so he just dropped the pizza. And then I, we're like, oh, go. And we just chase, like, run with him because he just runs out to the, we're at an apartment complex, ground floor. So we just run out to the, down the hall to the, the grass. Right, right, right. He just airborne jumps into the <laughs> snow angels. And then he gets up. This is freezing outside. And then we bring him inside because the bro isn't wearing any winter clothes is wearing a hoodie. Hard. He was wearing like a hoodie. And so luckily the snow wasn't like wet. It was like dry snow. Dry powder, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. still frigidly cold outside. We bring him inside. We dust all the snow off of him. We warm him up a bit. He hangs out. We give him the hundred bucks and say, hey. And he's like, he's like, that was awesome. I was like, all right, dude, I, I, I even I said in the video, that. I thought you would legit show up in snow gear and it wouldn't be that bad, but he shows up in a hoodie. And I'm like, Bless you sure you want to do this, man? And he's like, yeah. And so... It, it depends. I, I'm I'm on the fence because I'm like, if you do it correctly, and I offered, and that could be anyone. It could be, it doesn't even have to be the driver. I just wanted to make it spontaneous because it was the driver and give them the option of like, yo, you want to do something fun? If not, I'm still going to tip you. Like, see, regardless if is, he said yes or no, I was still going to tip the man. That's what I think, like, the big difference is. is but the $100 one, is hard because it's like, he obviously wants $100. But, like, the difference is, like, you started out with, like, hey, here's a choice. Yeah. Are you interested in doing this? Like, you, like, do you don't And if you would have said no, I wouldn't have ever posted right. the video. And you still, I wouldn't have posted like, it. I would have been like, you right, reassured. Yeah, no and, like, he was into it. Yeah. I think, like, the difference is that, like, you tr- you treated them like, you treated him like a person. Yeah. Well, for fun. Like, it was it was for fun. Yeah. But you to... still treated him like he, like he was his own person with his own yeah. choice. Yeah. And you re- even checked Had he in. said no, I would have exactly. been like, exactly. All good, like, bro. Totally get it. Like, the fact that, like, the uh, in the other story, they didn't, like, it wasn't even a choice. They walked in and immediately was like, dance, monkey. In and order he to was get like, a tip. To get a tip right. at all and showed uncomfortability, showed yeah. hesitation. And they're like, no, you have to do it. Like, I think that's the whole point and like that's where the respect is is that like you treated them like a person and yeah you wanted to have fun and you did content but you still treated this individual like a person rather than just like sure a monkey yeah and even after like i said when he was done i was like bro you can't leave you're gonna freeze so like exactly we brought him inside it's it's the and we're like let's uh let's make sure you don't get hypothermia like you're a good person i mean hey it's like it's right here it's be a good person as you should and i like that's what's just so crazy to me and i i think this episode's probably gonna air after drew's but like and they've are everyone who listens has already heard this but like it's the idea that so many people look at individuals in the service industry as like subhuman like drew told me a story and i'm only telling yeah i'm telling you this because it you're gonna think this is crazy is that like a woman came into a restaurant and was like oh like just expecting to be served and they were like oh man we're not open yet and she's like well your door's unlocked mm. and they're like yeah but like for fire code when there's people in the restaurant we right. have to keep it unlocked and she looks right. she goes no one's here and they're like well the staff are people they're in the back they're like the, the staff was there like they Prepping. were out in the open like, or yeah she could see them she just like well there's not customers here well there's still people here right and it's like that to me i think is such a good representation of like how so many people in the world mm-hmm. treat service industry workers yeah and i mean i think it's disgusting it's uh it's it's hard. I think everyone in the world needs, and he probably said this. Everyone in the world should be required to work uh, in the service he did industry. It, but I agree. Everyone yes. should one million percent. Whether it's in high school, you have to do a course on it. Like home, forget home ec, right? Because like all we did was sew a pillow, right? In home ec, <laughs> like put them on a shift at your local Chili's for you know, make them do twenty hours in the course of their high school career and you will get a whole new appreciation for going out to eat. 
Yes, or doing anything and in doing the service anything, industry. anything service industry. You will in just a mere twenty hours, you will understand what it's like to be on the other end, and that person sits there and gets berated by you because I think you're there hungry. should be a choice like, of either or. I think I genuinely believe this with my whole heart, soul, and body, and mm-hmm. no one can convince me otherwise. I think there should be a choice of you have to either volunteer to be a substitute teacher. Mm-hmm. Or a service industry employee. And that one of those two, everyone should have some kind of experience with that. I think, so, like, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's layers and layers uh, to the element of substituting for children or kids or whatever. Because I've obviously been in school before and yes. I had a substitute teacher. And you walk all over them. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah, no, we don't have to do that. It's fine. But, like, I think subs comparatively to service industry have it substantially easier and I can't speak for subs but I'm just saying from my perception a sub has ways out of things I'll just put a movie on or like uh, whatever I think you'd be surprised I would be surprised I'm sure I'm sure subs are dragged through the mud for sure but in the element of like you're only dealing with kids as opposed to grown adults in the service industry is my point of who you're dealing with there are because subs don't deal with parents yeah they do for when, when? They don't do conferences. So, so um, at our school, like, we would always have long-term subs, always. Mm, oh, so long-term like, subs. Yes. Oh, so like, like if like, someone's on maternity leave. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even – I would consider that a full-blown teacher at that point. See, they A sub don't, is like a day here They don't or a day actually there. have to have the same certification. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, yeah, it's – you'd 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 be shocked what's allowed in school. <laughs> well, I but believe like, – I couldn't even imagine, especially in today's age – no, well, like no, even, even no for idea. regular everyday subs, like fun fact, I'm actually working on a bunch of skits about this right now. Um, and they'll probably be posted by the time this uh, this airs. But um, there are many states, not even just counties, but many states that can't get substitute teachers because so many subs are getting assaulted on a daily wow. basis that they can't get people to volunteer in the schools. Wow. So like I think that there's who and, in the world well, if my kid ever it's 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 becoming really crazy, which is why. That's- I've seen a lot of TikToks of teachers who are like, it starts with the parents. It starts with the parents, but I'm like. Yes, which is why like, I genuinely believe that service industry or school because people just really don't understand what's going on in schools today. I think the only reason I said service industry is because there's the hospitality and tipping element. Yes. To understand and to value that. Yeah, Yeah. to treat someone like a normal human and a person, substitute teaching or teachers in general, yes, like. Uh, but I think like work, work wise or or um, what's the word service premium service wise, like when you're paying for something like a like an Uber ride or mm-hmm. oh, we shouldn't tip them because they should this, this, this. Oh, we shouldn't tip them because in Europe they don't this, this, this. You know what See, I mean? It's like I have the idea more of like, do you know how how, how much do you think a substitute teacher makes a day? Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, let's see, like per per day, like for a whole day. I'm going to ballpark and say three to five hundred. Hopefully. <laughs> a day. Is it less than that? Fifty dollars a day? Is like, it fifty a day? It's not only so um if you're not like a licensed teacher in if our you're county, one of the if you're one of the long term if whatever. you're if you're if you're not a licensed uh-huh. teacher it's hourly. It's just hourly. you get like sixty to eighty dollars a day. Wow. And part of it comes out of the teacher's paycheck. The teacher who they're subbing for. Yeah. Wow. Like teachers pay for their subs. Wow. Yeah, 60 it's like to a, eighty a day. Yeah, so that's why. Like, so it's ten dollars an hour <laughs> for an eight-hour school day. Um, yeah. <sighs> so like, that's Yikes. why I'm like, no, like I really believe for people to understand. Damn, I would I'm thought either a few or. hundred, at least a hundred. <laughs> that's like an average non-union acting job. <laughs> Two hundred dollars for the day. Three hundred. Wow, that was refreshing. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Hey, that's a bad shift at Chili's for sure. Sixty yeah. to eighty is like, like a, I, a bad shift. At Chili's. What I made as a server, like sometimes servers. I mean, most of the time, I would make more as a server than a oh, substitute teacher. One million percent. The yeah, service jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, and this is the thing, being okay and. This is also for everyone out there who is in the service industry, whether you're a pizza delivery driver. I was going to say this earlier, but that's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Whether you're an Uber driver, a pizza delivery person, 
a server, anyone who makes tips based off of hospitality, right? Mm -hmm. Under any circumstance or, or delivery or whatever, you must be okay with being stiffed. You must be okay yeah, with it's getting gonna happen. no tip. You must be okay with the fact that that person chose to give you nothing. Yeah. Because you're gonna make a majority of your money, hopefully, from quantity, mm -hmm. unless you're in the environment of quality, like a premium restaurant. If you're in the premium restaurant, it attracts the premium clientele, which will warrant the premium tips, which you'll make money every time, right? Mm -hmm. Very rare will you get stiffed at, you know, a cheesecake factory. Right. Like, as opposed uh, to, if, if more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, le, you will. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you have will. tips everywhere. You yeah. will, but less often than a Red Robin or a Chili's or, you know what I mean? Like the, the lower budget restaurants, the Applebee's, right? The ones where it's like, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Right. God forbid, whoever works at Buffalo Wild Wings, tell me how many times they've been stiffed. Oh my gosh, A billion, yeah. right? Yeah, A yeah, million, sure. all right, so, but I'm saying as a pizza delivery driver, you gotta take it on the chin, right? Whether, no matter what's, because you're gonna make your money hourly, obviously, which, right? But then also through the quantity, and it'll make up for itself. So if you, if you get the, the stiff here, you're gonna get the amazing over tipper here, and it'll yeah. balance itself out, hopefully. Right. So I think it's just important to focus on like there are going to be those people. It's you don't try to change people's minds. I'm not trying to change your mind and tell you to go out and tip 20 percent because you're not going to listen to me. You're going to do whatever you want to do. Right. In fact, that point is proven because I guarantee you when you order a pizza, you have the money. You're going to tip that driver on the table next to the door before they even get there because you've already decided what you're giving them. There's the money for the pizza and the tip. It's on the table before you yeah. even meet the driver which is totally fine as long as it's hopefully a percentage decent to the check, right? If it's a $200 pizza delivery and you give them five bucks, that's rude. that's a little unfortunate that's because that's a lot of pizza, right? Yeah. But nonetheless, if you're on the receiving end of a stiff or a, or a tip that is zero or whatever, it's not even worth it. It's just, you know, it. I've been in that position where I literally delivered 15 pizzas to a party Totally nice. I got there. It wasn't late. Nothing was wrong. And they gave me nothing. They gave me absolutely nothing. It wasn't a far drive. It was like two miles from the pizza shop. So it's not like I wasted hours, right? Drove it down the road. And, well, that's unfortunate. No, no money. That's, okay. That's so funny. They paid for it with a check. It was great. Who pays for pizza with a check? I've, most people don't even take checks. <laughs> this, like was a, this was obvious. This is yeah, back yeah, in yeah. 20, when was this? 20. 14 or 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. was 13, 13 to 15, somewhere in that. But yeah, our pizza place accepted checks for whatever reason. But yep, the total of the pizza was just oh, thank so you. funny because like this story goes into literally what both of us were just saying about like having to work in the industry to understand, but also just being able to take it on the chin. Yeah, you so, got to just uh, it, it's it is what it is and it'll come back tenfold. Yes. Whether it's, you know to yourself like yeah. if you if you if you get zero here you're gonna get 30 there like well, and it'll just be like oh it's like i made 20 percent for both these tables yeah. so it evens out right well, or sorry oh, no, no, go, 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 i'm go, on a run good. here you're good you're good go 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 i'll, I'll tell the story after you're I'll good give you're you, go, go I'll, ahead. I'll give you a little something i'm sure there's servers out there who do this if you don't do this you should do this let's do say this. you have a hundred dollar check and i'm sure i don't know if you yeah. talked about this already let's say you have a hundred dollar check which Hopefully you would get a twenty dollar tip. It's twenty percent of a hundred, right? Hopefully, and that tip doesn't all go to you. It goes to your food runners. It goes to your bartenders. It goes to your bussers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's we talked out. about that with sure. you. Yeah, right. But let's just say, off that hundred dollars, you get nothing. You get no tip. You get a hundred dollar check, no tip, right? And at the end of the night, you tip everyone out. Your server or your your food runner, your bus or your bartender. Just subtract one hundred dollars from your total of what you're tipping out because unfortunately, if they stiff you, they stiff everyone else, right? Just treat it like it doesn't exist, right? And then yeah. this way, everyone's still making 20% of the actual money that came in instead of you now paying out of your pocket to pay people exactly. for that. It's It sounds messed up, but like when I talked yes. to like my busters and my food runners, I was like, look, like, Let's treat this table like it didn't happen because if this is a $500 check, that's $100 worth of 
yeah. tips that like I don't have. So let's just omit this. Right. We all kind of took the L and let's move on. Exactly. And everyone was like, yeah, no, that makes sense because no one would be making money that way. Oh, absolutely. Right? And so I'd rather tip them 20% of the things that I do have the money off of than absolutely. I don't. So just omit it and move on. And that's that goes for any service industry job, right? Like just omit it and move on. And that's it. Sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's so, and I love that you said that because it goes so well into this story. Okay. Um, there was a restaurant having a big party for all their employees. Like super fun. You was know? Was it a pizza party? Um, it was going to be a pizza <laughs> big party. Surprise. Um, surprise, surprise. A big pizza party for all their employees. <laughs> and they we made ordered... a billion dollars this year. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Billion dollars. They ordered no Caesars. from the pizza place down this or a, a few like miles away, and they ordered twenty pizzas. Okay, that's a lot of pizzas, yeah. but they have for the whole staff, like the whole sure. restaurant. Yeah, I've been on the other end of that pizza. Yeah, party. Mm -hmm. and they delivered the pizza, and the owners completely stiffed the delivery driver. What at, the, at a restaurant where they. It's the corporate mm -hmm. credit card. It's not even... Mm -hmm. What? Corporate credit card. That's wild. The manager... Drop the name. What's the name of the restaurant? <laughs> I don't, they didn't send it. The managers... managers <laughs> wow. Managers completely stiffed the rest... Completely stiffed the delivery driver. That's wild. Literally just handed them exact change. An envelope with exact change. It was like, great. Have a great day. And like the delivery guy just kind of... Okay, and just kind of like that's very mm -hmm. surprising. And it's hypocritical because I've been on the receiving end when I delivered. I've delivered to corporate events when I was working pizza, and I got hooked up because it was the business credit card. Right? Because they don't care about how they're like, yeah, yeah whatever you need. <laughs> there you go, buddy. And I'm like, hell yeah, like easiest delivery ever. So it's like, like I said, it evens out. But that's very surprising that yeah. a corporate place not only a corporate place but a corporate place in the service industry oh, that's was like very nah, surprising nah you're good i wonder what happened with that i would love to know the full story of that but that's... i think because it was the owner is that that's like his money i don't know i guess <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of is this a small is a mom and pop shop it's not like a corporate corporate i don't know mm -hmm. they didn't say that's either way it doesn't either matter way, what it is it's so that's wild hypocritical to me. yeah to say like like all your staff makes their money on tips and you're mm. like, you're good. <laughs> I'm celebrating my staff by stiffing someone else's. That's wild. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. That's nuts. And I feel like this is probably something that you most likely didn't experience as much of, but something else that was really brought to my attention when I was getting questions and stories for this episode mm -hmm. is the number of women delivery drivers who were either harassed or felt oh. unsafe oh, God. or anything I, like that. Yeah. Uh, mine is usually, <laughs> my pizza delivery driver is usually a middle-aged, like, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I I feel for, like, I, for women, I I couldn't even begin to tell you. Like, it's scary. A walk a mile in your shoes, like, never in, in a day would I ever understand. It's so scary. The, the yeah, there are weird, not only are there weird people, even being a guy, right? Like, I could show up to someone's door, they could me in the throat. Like, <laughs> and being a guy, it doesn't yeah, make me any no. less safe. But nonetheless, yes. girls are subject to harassment, physical yeah. harassment, and verbal harassment, all that stuff. So I couldn't even imagine not only being yeah. a girl delivery driver is one thing because like you're there and then you can just bounce, right? But like an Uber driver, like oh, that's a, so scary. a female that's so scary. Uber driver is not only ballsy to drive complete strangers in your car, mm -hmm. but just to endure that environment mm -mm. as a woman, I could never understand. No. So props and kudos a million times. And I think the only place, and this is me, you can, I guess I'm being a little stereotypical here. The only place I really see females thriving in any sort of industry is food service industry because they're sociable. They're like, you know, you've got your attractive looking girls and they use that to their advantage. And you use that girl, like use that Get and your make bag. that money. Yes. Absolutely. Like it's, yes, if you've got it, use it for sure. Especially in the service industry of serving tables or whatever, if you, you own that, like for sure. But it's unfortunate that- It's a double-edged sword. Yes. It's unfortunate that 
that stereotype is what it is and like mm-hmm. ooh let's get the hot service girl like let's go get the yeah. hot waiter her section because that's gross anyway it's, yeah but yeah. the fact that that exists is in itself horrible but they're at least the safest in the confines of a restaurant and even then they still get harassed verbally mm-hmm. but at least like they're not going to some random door no and then like and i got anything, so you know. many stories that's like, crazy from this kind of thing but the, the, I, I ended up picking one because i was like it's gonna just depress me if i just sit there and like yeah. spew over and over and over. So the one that I picked was um this one girl, this one woman mm-hmm. was delivering a pizza and the delivery instructions were just leave by door. Like they already paid over the phone and left a tip. Just leave by door. Okay. Um, But the problem was when she pulled up, it was such a heavily wooded area and there were so many trees. She couldn't really find where like the door was because they were just like. It was just in the middle of the woods, I guess. she's delivering it to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Uh, house? (laughs) Like, what? Literally, I I was having trouble envisioning it when they were trying to describe it, but I was like, All I think of is, like, the Adams Family windy road through the forest. (laughs) It's like, hello? Is anyone? Pizza? Did you ever, uh, She falls through a trap door. musical? (laughs) Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's... Um, I would have been like, it's at the gate. It's from the store. (laughs) Yeah. But, so... She ended up calling the number associated uh-huh. with the order and was just, hey, I'm having some trouble figuring out, like, exactly where the door that you said to leave the pizza is. I just want to make sure it's in the right spot. Uh-huh. Can you point me in the right direction? Well, she didn't think to block out her phone number, like, star six, seven, uh-uh. before calling. Which you shouldn't really have and to. I've, you shouldn't I've, have I've, to. Yeah. Um, She delivered it to this older man. Mm-hmm. And for the next week, he just kept calling and calling and texting and you were very pretty you were very cute and just harassing this woman to the point she that she block, had to block him like block and him. had to have his number blocked from the store because he kept submitting orders for her to deliver Oof, and that's, crazy. that's so creepy it's so unfortunate it's, that it's so unfortunate that that is so a reality for people to endure and i i mean like like i said i could never Mm-mm in a million years relate or even begin to understand. Uh, So basically the moral of the story of this entire thing is not only treat people better. (laughs) Don't be a jerk. Yeah, don't be an awful person and not even just under the context of the service industry, just in general. Yeah. Just in in general. like, like, be a person. Like, these are human beings. Why is it so hard? Like, I don't know. I feel like people I also are, don't get why it's so hard. People are way too on edge, and we, we let a lot of things get to us more than we should. Mm-hmm. And people want to, they want to benefit from other, for, or from scenarios. They want to, you know, have th- something to gain from, you know, some situation. Oh, like, whatever. They want to make us, like, don't. Just don't, don't. It, it, it can avoid... So much, like the linear path of something that could happen just by treating someone differently could be terrible or or or, or better. Like, it, you know what I mean? No, absolutely. How you treat an individual, like, you know, even for a small moment could mean all the difference. Uh, like, One wow. small act of kindness. There was this little old lady at, at the Ralph's that, I, you know, she she was looking at, you know, like this. She's, she was confused. And I'm not like, do you need help? Because I'm not trying to impose on her life but i'm also looking at pasta sauces and i'm like what do i want and she looks over and she's like i'm just looking for chili powder and i'm like oh oh yeah there's some chili powder right there she goes oh oh i thought it was in a different you know whatever like she just said it like kind of to me not really but yeah i'm the only one in the area and so i'm like oh hey there's Chili there, powder. It is. there it is that one that one right there she goes oh good and then she just takes it and she's like this is perfect she's like thank you i'm like oh you're <laughs> well, um, literally yeah. you're welcome like yeah it's right yeah of course i'm like no but like just people don't do that you know what i mean yeah yeah the average person would have just been like okay mm. cool. <laughs> that lady chili needs powder. chili powder <laughs> like cool. you know what i mean but what are you doing are, are, are you aware of your surroundings and how do you react to your surroundings you know what i mean yes. like and like 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 we said like most interactions 
are so neutral. But They're like, so brief, the, too. We're, we're not even saying, like, the goal is you need to be in that 5% of really awesome and, like, oh, yeah, I'm tipping 30%, no. blah, blah, blah. No, just, just don't be a jerk. Yeah. Just be in that neutral sphere. Like, just don't ruin someone's day. Like, it's not that hard. It goes down to, it goes down to you know, back to first grade. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Absolutely. And... I think that has spiraled heavily out of control. Oh my gosh, yeah. Especially with social media. And it's so easy for people to comment, you know, and comments <laughs> are some of my favorite pastime <laughs> to respond to. In Again, I will never berate someone. I will never personally insult someone, even if they're being nasty in the comments. But what I like to do is question their entire logic. And I love to take their entire comment and sort of let's question why, right? Like, what brought you here? Like, I mean, what, why, what, got, what do you? What is? What, what is your this, purpose here? What got you this point? Like to go <laughs> out of your way. And so, for example, here's a content creator, right? Of treating people, you know, nicely. Which again, thick skin, and I just let things go because I don't care. Right. Right. When I gotta, right. What do you want me to do? Delete my channel? <laughs> yeah. Oh you no! User comment. three five seven nine Should doesn't I, like me. What oh, do no. I do? How will I recover? But sometimes I like to question people's actual thought process i posted a video and it was uh, me and my girlfriend and it, it, regardless of the video regardless um there were comments that were like drink lead or what oh yeah it was like it was like divorce her i'm not even married <laughs> first of all these people wow because the beginning of the video says uh, my girlfriend wanted to, right? Like in like divorce her, and everyone was calling her my wife. Which I'm like, did you? Do you, the people, first three seconds don't, of the don't video pay said, "I'm telling you, girlfriend. they don't pay attention." So regardless, but they're like, divorce her, bro. She like all these negative things, and one of them was like, she seems autistic, and for whatever reason in what? me, whatever reason in me, not that I'm like offended by anyone with autism, but I commented back to that person. I was like, you decided to go out of your way of your in, your entire day in your life that I know nothing about where you are who you are anything about you and you saw this video online on Instagram and you're like you know what I'm gonna comment and say that that person seems like they're autistic as an insult and I I I, I was like what brought you to this point to actually want to comment this and they deleted their comment. And I was yeah. like, I, I genuinely wanted to know, but there's just that, it's not like I'm out to like, ha, delete it, I got you, I win. It's like, I do that. I challenge people's Intentions. logic of being, of going out of the way to be nasty for no reason. I get it. If you don't like a video, that's 100% that's okay. okay. You're, that's fine. Guess what, you do this. Scroll. <laughs> well, look, it's gone, <laughs> I don't care anymore, right? But. To go out of your way on any capacity to tell a server or to tell an employee or to tell a, a pizza delivery guy, a, leave a comment on a video and, and relinquish your anger or your annoyance in, in a negative way is getting you absolutely nothing. Yeah, and it no. will never get you anything but your instant gratification that you did it. And if you're living your life that way, you got to take a long, hard look in the mirror of how you're choosing to live your life. And... I personally choose to not do that, obviously, and I will go the extra mile to hold the door for someone, and even if it's a complete stranger, or, you know, oh, yeah, of course, no, after, please, you go first, or what, like, chivalry isn't dead, but it's, it just, I think we just need to focus more on how we treat Agreed. everyone, Agreed. even in the smallest of moments, because they can make the biggest of differences, and I Absolutely. think that is where... That's it. That's like the perfect thought to end on too. That's it. You I know, love that. how you, how you treat someone can change the trajectory of it's not only your own thing. day, but theirs. Yeah. I love that. It, yeah. That's it. Well, thanks Don't so get much. mad when someone cuts you off in traffic. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. You're still going to get there. You're still going to get okay. there. All right. It's, it's fine. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hey, Bert. would you believe? Would you? I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe. I wouldn't believe it. Let's go get pizza. <laughs> I would love to. Oh, that sounds really good. We should order some pizza. Yeah. And then me... stiff our driver. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's give them no money. <laughs> Could you imagine cameras off and they were like, all right, let's order a pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. 
well, extra money for you. Always. Absolutely. And yes. thank you all so much for hanging out with us as well. And yeah. Have a great rest of your day and hope to see you all next week. Bye-bye, lovelies. Oh.